The 2014 release of InDesign CC comes with a great new feature, the ability to create fixed layout EPUBs, often the ebook format of choice for kids' books, art books, cookbooks, and other image-heavy, complexly designed publications. Now, I promise that I'll explain what a fixed layout EPUB is in a bit more detail later in this video, and of course show you an example of one, but I want to step back a bit first to get everybody caught up. Let's review, first of all, what a more typical EPUB looks like, the ebook format I'm sure you're familiar with called a reflowable EPUB. InDesign has been able to export to this EPUB format since CS3, and the ease and feature set has greatly improved with every version since then, including the 2014 release. The reflowable EPUB features are enhanced in this version, but in general, the process is the same. You start with a layout that's fairly text heavy, like this one, and then after some amount of prep work, you know, you anchor images, set up chapter breaks, you export to the EPUB reflowable format, and voila, you have a reflowable EPUB. You can tell that you're looking at a reflowable EPUB from a few important qualities. The text is live, you can select it, you, you can search for it. You can't zoom into or out of the page, but you can change the type size and the type face, which forces the lines to break differently, to reflow, in other words. If you're on a mobile device, you can switch from landscape to portrait, and the text reflows to fill the new space there too. So that's all well and good for text-heavy publications, where you don't mind that much giving up control of the original design and layout. But what about when you have a complex design? Like this one. Here is a lovely photographic essay. Let's say that we want to turn this one into an EPUB as well and upload it to the Apple iBookstore to sell. In previous versions of InDesign, your only choice would have been to export to the standard reflowable kind of EPUB. And even if I take care to do my prep work, I am not going to be happy with the end result. Let's take a look. Here is what that book looks like exported to reflowable EPUB format. I've completely lost the relationship of the text frames to the images that they're describing. Uh, text that was appearing in a transparency overlapping other images appears stacked up. In other words, it's not quite ready. But I've taken that same file, that same photographic essay, and exported it to fixed layout format from the 2014 release of InDesign CC. And let's take a look at that one. It is a thing of beauty. The layout looks almost exactly like my design in InDesign. The opening spread is exactly as it appears in my InDesign file, but it's still an EPUB. All the text is selectable. Even the text that's fully justified, even text that's on top of an image. Fixed layout EPUBs are based on EPUB 3, the current standard file format for eBooks for the past couple years. Apple's iBookstore supports fixed layout EPUBs, as do a number of other eBook resellers. Until now, we have had to create these by hand in an eBook or HTML editor. A daunting and tedious task, I can assure you. That's why I'm thrilled at this new feature, Export to Fixed Layout EPUB in the 2014 release of InDesign CC.